Welcome to the VizRT Public Show at NAB 2015. My name is Chris Black, and today I'm going to show you the advanced features of Viz Virtual Studio. Now, just in front of me, I have a camera on a crane, and this is an Egritmic crane that is using mechanical tracking, which is applied to all the pivot points on the crane. X, Y, and Z information, basically the movement of the crane, is being sent over to the Viz Virtual Studio software. We also have a red digital cinema camera with a Fujinon lens on it that is sending zoom information over to the Viz Virtual Studio software so that you can see all this movement inside of the virtual set. Right above my head, I have 16 cameras. This is a motion analysis optical tracking system. And I also have these little markers on the, my set. So you have one here, I have one on the floor, and I have some on the camera in front of me. This is going to send tracking information using the motion analysis system so that I'm able to interact with the virtual studio environment. And finally, we have our director over here, Kim Tsai, who created this whole thing. He's going to be driving the entire broadcast from the Viz Mozart Studio Automation System. So if you want to see how this is actually done in a live control room, you can go over there and take a look right after the show. So our virtual set today has several different surfaces that allow us to tell stories in different ways. Let's take a look at a couple of them. Right over here, we have a video wall that is using Viz Multiplay to control real-time HD video and graphics. And our director can control all of the content in real-time right here on the video wall. And we'll take a look at that in a, just a moment. But let's actually go over here and take a look at our virtual window. Now, if we open up our virtual window, we'll be able to see some 3D graphics that have come in from a playlist. Our director is triggering a playlist of graphics that have come from the newsroom. So your iNews, ENPS kinds of things where the producers have complete control of the content. This is also using data-driven graphics. So as they change, we're able to see the data and the graphics update in real time. Let's bring in our uh, election uh, graphic showing some presidential candidates. All right, so here's our election graphic with different presidential graphics. Now, of course, all of these graphics in our playlist are coming up here in this monitor within my studio. But we can also take these graphics, such as uh, Seth here, and we can just throw it right here into the studio. And this has become an immersive object within our studio floor. That means it's actually immersed in the studio directly in front of me. So I can go right over here behind Seth and say, hello and come back around again, and also have uh, live data being applied to this graphic. So if we had live data coming in, we'd be able to see the numbers changing in real time. Now we're going to do more with immersive graphics in just a moment. So let's just take this one away and take a look at one of the other surfaces that we have to work with here in the virtual set. Now we have this huge green screen floor in front of us, so we can actually add in immersive elements into the green screen floor. Let's bring in a map that we have from the uh, 2012 elections. All right, here we are. We have this uh, map coming from Viz World, our real-time 3D mapping system. We've added some election content in here, some immersive graphics over there. We've also been able to create a very specific look and feel to the map we call a style sheet. And we can change those very quickly so that they match your specific graphic design. But let's also bring in some uh, more immersive objects on top of this. So here we've added in these arrows, and these arrows are basically supposed to represent uh, how the population has, shift, has changed since the last election. But what's interesting about this is the arrows are immersed in the studio floor in front of me, beside me, and actually behind me as well. So as a presenter, I am now completely wrapped 360 degrees by the immersive graphics. And so this is allowing your presenter to become really part of the story within the, the entire virtual studio. Uh, one other thing I wanted to show you with this map, you see these uh, uh, states over here that are lit up. This is using some of the election data from the 2012 elections. But we're actually able to go in even deeper than the state level down to the county level in each area. So using real-time data, we can light up these uh, counties red and blue and see that live happening on the air during the elections. We can also change our immersive graphics here with the live data. So everything that we've been doing so far has been uh, triggered by the director using Viz Multiplay to control the pacing of the show. But we have other tools which allow you to have the presenter and the camera operator actually control the pacing. So let's open up our virtual uh, floor here for a moment and see what we can do. So what we've added now is some 3D graphics that go down into the studio floor. And using the camera, we're able to uh, pan down and zoom into these different graphics and use this as a transition tool. It becomes a more organic way of being able to tell a story within the virtual studio instead of having just your director trigger each graphic. And it does give it a very nice look and feel. Now, of course, all of this is working within a green screen. But with Viz Virtual Studio, you can actually go beyond the green screen and still have a large virtual studio. So as we pan the camera over to where our director is sitting right now, you can see that we've actually extended the virtual studio beyond the green screen, and you have this large immersive uh, virtual window there showing some video that we shot in Las Vegas the other day. 
So actually, let's bring this back into the studio for a moment. Now, uh, baseball season started about uh, a week ago. So let's uh, bring in some sports elements in here, and we can take a look at what we can do with uh, sports. So we've been able to change our virtual monitor here to a sports theme. How about some immersive graphics added in here? There we go. So these are our Major League Baseball matchups of the day. We have the Seattle Mariners versus the uh, uh, Indians. And these are actually 3D objects that are immersed into the studio floor. And they have a lot of depth to them. So as we move the camera down, you can see that they'd have some really nice three-dimensional texture. And it's a nice way of being able to use the camera to transition from point to point. And the other interesting thing about this is with these immersive graphics, you don't need the green screen. This can be done on your physical set as well. So actually, let's go down to this last one here. This is a uh, two minor league teams, the uh, Kings versus, versus the uh, River Sharks. And we're going to use the motion analysis optical tracking system, all these cameras just above my head, to track this object that's on my floor. So I can rotate it around, and you can see that it's applying the movement over to the 3D object that I have immersed here. But I can also use this to trigger events in the virtual studio. So I can pick it up. You can see we can change the lights. I have this orb that's floating around. And then I can just toss this into the monitor behind me and use this as a transition effect to go from graphics in the floor into the studio. Let's actually go over here for a moment to our video wall and take a look at what we can do with Viz Multiplayer, multi-screen studio control system. Now, the director has the interface running on his system, so he's able to take a playlist of content, all your videos and graphics, and very quickly and easily, by clicking one, uh, one button, change the configuration of all of this content within the video wall. Now, we have a real video wall just on the other side of the booth, so I invite you to go check that out. Andreas is great at showing it off, so please take a look at it right after the show. Now, the studio that we have here today is rather big but it's actually a lot bigger than it appears. We've added in multiple levels to the studio. So we can open up our floor for a moment, bring in the elevator, and we'll take that over to one of our other studios. All right, there's my elevator. Let me hop on over here. So let's take this down to level three. Here we go. Cue the elevator music, dance around a little bit. All right, here we are now in our VizRT social TV solution set. So we're using our social TV tools to be able to take content from Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and be able to map that and bring into the virtual studio. We can add in avatars to the walls here. We brought in a tweet here, immersed in studio floor just directly in front of me. But really why I brought you here is because I want to be able to show you that you can design the virtual studio to look any way you want. You have complete creative freedom over the entire virtual studio, but it's still a journalist tool. So they are able to add in all the graphics and build a playlist of events that can be used for a live broadcast. Let's take this back upstairs. All right. So here we go. Now you have to be careful in this elevator. There's no uh, railings or anything, so you could very easily fall off. And it's a long way down. All right, so that's our presentation for Viz Virtual Studio today. If you have any questions, please come on up. We'll be happy to answer them for you. Don't be shy. If you want to come in here to the green screen and try it out for yourself, you're more than welcome to. Otherwise, enjoy the rest of the day here at NAB. And we're going to do another one of these live shows. Let's see here. What time? At 4 o'clock. Thank you. Enjoy the rest of the day here at NAB.